Hey guys. So I will attempt to draw a quetzal from looking at a picture on the computer as a reference. So first what I see is uh, the eyes. So I'll just do like a little black circle and I'll do like this square type of thing. Maybe a little bit smaller. It can even be a little bit smaller like that. And then a little bit around the eye again. You see that? Okay. And then I'm going to pretend that there's a, a shape like that. Okay, now I'd see its beak. So we're gonna do this triangle type of shape. And now lightly, lightly. Okay, we're gonna do its head lightly because its little hairs are going right here. Okay. okay. I hope you can see that. And then this shade of green or darker shade, it's his little cheek. And then right here, It's another shade okay so right here I'm gonna want you to to then start going a little darker or you can use different colors with this later on that's what's going to be its head and then I want you to go like this this half circle like that and then this is going to be the line for its little head Okay, now we're going to do its chest. Okay. Kind of think like a dove. A dove's body. Okay. And then I see that it's going to have, this is like one color right here. So we can do this. Okay, like that, okay? It's not gonna be perfect right away, but it's okay. Okay, now these are gonna be little feathers. Okay, and yes, sometimes you make mistakes, but it's all part of learning, right? So here you go, some feathers, Okay, and then here we're going to have a little tint of black. Now this is where you can get creative right here. It's going to be red. Okay. see now right here you can you can really get more creative with this as it has long feathers that come out of it okay, right here you can use your imagination and just imagine these big long feathers that come down from its tail um, I did this really freehand is what they call it when <laughs> you don't go back that much you just keep going this is what that would be called okay, and then you can pretend that it's on a stick okay and I'm going to use some colors okay 
okay so continued we're going to use some of these colors i know that its beak is going to be like orangish it should be yellow but i'm going to use a little bit of a little orange because i couldn't find the yellow okay and there goes that and i should have had more greens for it i'm gonna do this little light green right here and then its chest it needs to be red I know that its chest needs to be red and this is the fun part the Quetzal has a lot of different shades of greens and blues that's what I noticed so we, I'm going to do some of this hair kind of blue and then later I'm going to do some, some greens. Okay, really lightly, I'm going to do this green on the Quetzal, very lightly. And with the black, I don't want to get that, that spot that goes for the shiny part. I want to try to miss it. If I have to scratch it out, then I'll scratch it out. And right here, I'm going to press a little bit harder as I'm trying to give this color illusion. I'm going to mix blue right there. We're going to make this little blue green. It's not the best, but there we go. And then I'm going to press a little bit harder right here where I had that. Those, uh, those little spots that I had made that I saw and here's the fun part a little bit of orange right here and it's head okay this color right here it should be like a turquoise right here okay so continued, um, I found a couple of tones of blue in the crayons. You see that? Just make sure you have a lighter and a darker, okay? So even in these past colors, we have a spectrum of colors. They're kind of related, you see? Lighter and darker. Same thing with my oranges and my reds. I always have some dark colors and some a little bit lighter okay and it's for a reason I didn't know I was doing that but kind of figured that out now okay and so we want to that and then right here on this little bit of the the chest of this right here this is gonna be more turquoise so try to mix it in And then we'll do this little cheek. Okay. And then after that, you know what? We'll do some lines. Kind of use this turquoise like an outline. You could really just mix it in. You're doing some blending. Okay, this is kind of like your outline, this turquoise, and I, I know I made it a little bit sloppy, but it's okay. And then we'll go really with this yellow. We'll go in there. And now right here, let's try to go a little bit lighter with this green. I'm not the best color crayoner. 
and then um, remember this is red so you can even come and mix that red with that orange to really really make it to pop okay and then right here i want to do a lighter green so if you have a lighter green go ahead and pull it out if not we can make a pattern so we'll go like this you see how i colored it on the outside and then I'm going to get like this little lime green. I don't know what this color combination is called, but I'm using it. And you know what? Right here, I 